Hello and welcome to a new episode of Deponia. We finally got radio, so now we need to get to the emergency station and find goal. So let's go into the alley and let's have some fun because this game is all about the humor. So, emergency station and goal, here we come. Alright, that doesn't look good, but I guess it's Goal, so... But where is Goal? What the... Hey, what are you doing? Just oh, go. no. Look at you. Finally, I brought you to justice. What is that supposed to mean? It's me, Rufus. I know. And believe me, it was not easy to solve this case. The case of your missing IQ? No, I'm talking about a series of crimes that have been committed this very morning. Ever since that girl appeared, our community has been in turmoil. Arson, sabotage, disrespectful behavior toward the authorities. You don't have any proof of any of that, you stupid idiot. Theft. I'm innocent. All right. Yeah, okay, let me rephrase that. If I am guilty of any crime at all, then that crime is love. Everything I did, I did for goal. Where is she, by the way? Has she gained full consciousness yet? No, but she needed more room. She's with Mr. Wenzel. What? That treacherous all right. road? That's unfair. I found the Elysian. Me. It was me. Oh, my God. Who found the Elysian? Uh... Wenzel found the Elysian. It was Wenzel, none other than him. Excuse me, but who are you? My name is Argus, Bailiff Argus, Organon Prime Administration. Ooh, the prime authority in my office. And I forgot to brush my teeth. How can I be of help, Bailiff? I heard you have an Elysian woman in custody. These are community matters. Is that so? Interesting. What if an Organon search party was to reduce your community to rubble? Would that be community matters as well? Mm -hmm. Don't let him threaten you, Gizmo. The girl is with Mr. Wenzel. Gizmo, no! Oh, the chicken. The house below the water tank, right next to the town gate. Thank you, Inspector. You just saved your community a lot of suffering. It's a damn chicken. He's a damn chicken. Yeah, really. Well done. Shut up. All right. So we need to escape. And... Could make a fire. Let's see what Kitty can do. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet. What? What was that sound? How about emergency? We've got an emergency. All right. Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. What happened? Where's the fire? Oh, Mr. Firefighter, my poor kitty climbed up the tree and she's afraid to come down. Don't worry, madam. I'm a professional. Yeah, right. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Genius prevails. <laughs> All right. Let's escape. All right. We just got out. Now we need to save Wenzel, our girl. Or one of those two. So, let's... Rufus, what, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Ha, you know very well what I'm doing here. Where is she? Rufus, please, let me explain. No, you spineless traitor. It's not what you think. We'll see about that. Yeah, we'll see about it. Ah! <gasps> Ooh. You? What are you doing here? Me? I don't know. Finally at a loss for words? I don't believe it. But I don't care what you think. There is an easy explanation for all this. What? No, no. I, I don't even want to know. I, I don't even remember asking. Keep your gross secrets to yourselves. I just want to know where Goal is. Who's Goal? Oh, so your little lover boy here didn't tell you about his other conquest. Conquest? Wenzel, what is he talking about? Why are you dressed like that? Well, um, I thought, uh... Oh. And who the heck is Goal? No one, really. I mean, she's not even working properly. What the... Where is she, Wenzel? I put her in the basement. In the oh, basement? my God. Well, I see that you two have a lot to talk about. Have fun. All right. 
Let's get to the basement. Where is she? Where is she? She should be in the basin. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. I'll get you out of here. Open up, Organon! But you're already inside. No excuses. The strong suspicion arose that you are harboring a member of the Resistance on the run. Rufus, what kind of mess is he in now? So, you admit your crime. We haven't been harboring anyone. He just burst in. Go ahead. He's down in the cellar. Uh-oh. I have to think fast. All right. What do we get? What do we get? Diving rod. We need to stop them. What is going on? What? This is going terribly wrong. And it isn't my fault. It isn't my fault at all. No, it isn't. Alright. Oh, this this is part I love. Justice written, our hero was smitten, and rescued the maiden from impending doom. On a horse made of steel, even guys on his heels, he rode with a girl into dawn's early gloom. She awoke by his kiss, well at least more or less, and the whole part concerning the uppercut scare can be pinned at least to some extent on her damaged brain and plan. Anyway, in a big picture, who's gonna care? Who's Gonna care. Oh, what a pain in the Ooh, you really could make yourself a bit lighter, you know. Araba. Yeah, yeah, you don't say. From bad to worse, where are we anyway? Hey, All right. that's the old junk mine rail system. Back in the day, it was used to transport heavy loads to the lower ascension station. Oh, sorry, babe, don't take it personally. Now, I just need to find some kind of rail car and a way to get goal on it. Let's go! All right. I guess uh, we're going to do that. I really... Needed to stream myself for not singing with the song because it was a great song. It, I love the song. I really love the song. All right, now let's think. What are we going to do? I see a big crane, so we're going to do something with that. We've got some kind of funnel. We can go up. All right. That wasn't what I meant to do. Luckily, I fell onto the backbone of some poor sucker whose fall wasn't as lucky as mine. Ah, oh, looky here. Seems like the bridge collapsed. Doesn't matter though. It isn't the first bridge that I've torn down today. And goal. Oh, what am I gonna do with goal now? Yeah. Man. Hmm. All right. So. No matter what awaits me behind it. I'm prepared. Can we go in the crane? Get some stuff? Yes, we can. All right. Guess mine. The unconscious woman in peril is caught on the other side of the canyon, and this is a rusty old crane for loading rail cars. Well, you don't have to be a genius to make the connection. Nope, you don't need to be a genius, and I'm not a genius, so. No matter what awaits me. Let's open it. What's in it? This is beyond repair. Let's throw it out. All right. What else? What can we do? Come on now. Ah, nothing. Damn. 
All right. So we got a busted. Ooh, we lost everything. All right. That isn't good. Oh, we can go into the mine tunnel. All right. Oh, look at the cupier birds and the mine bike. All right, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. So, what are we going to do here? I guess there's a button here and a lever uh, and some cute little birds. We can go that way. We can go that way. No, we can't go that way. We can go back. And we get a cool mini bike. Hmm. Ooh, what's in it? What did we got? Lightning bolt, alright. What's this? I guess that's not something we need, a lever to do something with that. How do I get up there? I want to get up there. We can go out. I'm kind of lost. Hmm. Oh yeah, exactly the right carriage for my princess. I'll sit here. Uh, where will she sit? Check. Well. Ooh. Whoa. Who's that? Hmm. A rusty drain pipe, chewing gum, some floss. Ah, this will make a magnificent prosthetic. Dum de dum de dum. All right, that's kind of scary guy. That's a damn scary guy. What's in here? The box is screwed shut, as if a hex bolt could stop me. What naive dunces! Ooh, he got a key. <laughs> Too high. Hmm. Huh. All right. Hey, you come down from there. Oops. Oh my God, you didn't. Ah, one leg's enough. Can we use this on the maintenance hatch? Not as long as I still have two healthy mm. legs of my own. Ooh, we can steal a lot of stuff. And red signal light. We're going to take that also. We are taking everything. All right. Can we talk to him? I want to talk to him. Talk to the duck. Hi there. Huh? What? Oh. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Who are you? Why do you want to know that? Are you a spy of the Organon? What? I d no. My name is Rufus. Yeah, I know I sometimes come across as enigmatic and threatening, but <laughs> it was just a joke, Rufus. Of course you're not a spy, the way you're dressed and all. Huh? I'm Doc. Handyman, trash hunter, spare parts dealer, brain surgeon. I own right. a small store on the floating black market. You might know my slogan from the communal broadcasts. Machine head, proper head, all the same to me. Visit, Visit Doc. Doc. All right. Da -da -da -da. They call him Rufus. Yeah, I know that one. All right. I'm a handyman myself. A colleague. Very good. What are you working on at the moment? <laughs> Roughly speaking, a plan to reach Elysium. Why, look at you. Daring to try the impossible. I yes. like that. There's a man who doesn't get distracted by the impossibility of the task at hand. 
Exactly. One who'd rather risk a bloody nose before he accepts that he can't break through a wall with his head. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> I like you, Rufus. Always towards the sun. And when the wings start melting, he makes sunglasses from the molten wax. Yeah, I'm a pretty cool guy. All right. Is that booze? A handyman's best friend. Yes, steadies your hands and frees your mind. Lowers the inhibitions to get your hands close to rotating blades. And is as good a disinfectant as it is a painkiller. All right. There's a... no, we're not going to have the booze. Uh, spare parts and brain surgeons. I want something to repair the minecart. Just as I thought, in case a fellow handyman facing a problem. Thought experiment. In case a fellow handyman would face a problem. Really, just hypothetical. Handymen don't know any problems. Only challenges. Oh, my thoughts exactly. But handymen help each other out when they face a challenge. No doubt about it. That's the second most important rule of the handyman. All right. School. Right after, ne'er show thy nail gun to the other handyman's wife. Lest he'll show you his at very close range. Yeah, uh, important rule. <laughs> All, All right. right. Shoot. What's the trouble? When the mine bike doesn't start, for example. You mean that rust bucket over there? What does it do? Well, it rattles a little, and then the engine dies. <laughs> it would seem that the good old wing brake parallel shank is inverted on the horizontal axis inside the dorsal rump emanator once again, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, the uh, parallel shank. <laughs> you know, that always happens to me, too. You better be happy that it wasn't anything serious. That's no real problem for us handymen, right? No, nope. of course not. I now we get the answer. I wanted to get a second opinion. Why, really? How could there possibly be two different opinions about a thing like that? The avial power inverter is shot. And what a stroke of luck. I just found one. Here you go. All right. So we've got the stuff we need. Hey, Grace, this is exactly what I need. <laughs> Seemingly. Uh, what's wrong? Shall I help you fitting it too? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nonsense. Fitting an avial power thingy. I, I can do that in my sleep. Yeah, we well, are we are going to I do that. that once. The next morning my wife left me. Since then, I've given up sleeping on water beds. Is there anything else? No. No, nothing else. Nothing that I can't handle myself. Ooh, ooh, well. ooh, ooh. You want a job done? Messed well, up brain implant. Do it yourself. DIY. Yeah, do it yourself. Uh, I got some more interesting. I have some more uh, challenges. Keep. All right, girlfriend, brain implant. Has a malfunctioning brain implant. You've come to the right place, then. It has to be destiny that our paths cross. Yes, it has. Fix it. Of course, I can. Perfect. But not here, I'm afraid. Oh. Just bring her to my practice on the floating black market tomorrow. Tomorrow, you say? Oh, crap. That's too late. No, no. You can walk about for weeks with a malfunctioning brain implant without any serious long-term damage. My wife managed to go about her business with a charred frontal lobe chip for two years. Two years? Yes. She could only speak gibberish. It's a shame that I didn't even notice. Is there anything else? All right. So we got some time. Very well. You want a job done well. You got to do it yourself. Do it yourself. Yes, I know. Well, let's go. I have to get moving. Be safe. Always use goggles. And visit me on the floating black market in case Yes, 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 we will. Come on. Let's go back to this one. And now we got the avial power, power inverter. Guess we are going to put it in here. Let's give it a try. Whoops. Oh, it's always the same with these uh, ravioli. And I, I hope it's still functional. Do we still have it? Where's it gone? Oh, there. And there. And there. And here's another part that looks the same. Damn, what's supposed to be a part of it and what isn't? All right. What are we going to do with this? I'm kind of lost. Man, what are we 
game to do. All right. Hmm. Damn, I'm 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 kind of lost. What are we going to do with this? This is kind of strange. Because this one and that one on that one. All right. Damn, this, this is harder than it looks. I don't know what to do with it. Guess it just kind of luck. Put something on that. Beevil with two spokes. And four spokes. All right. I can build a power inverter in my sleep. Off into the inventory with it. I wonder if I can assemble a second one. Not bad, Rufus. You're a natural. I'll just assemble the third one real quick. There. <laughs> I bet the doc couldn't have done it as brilliantly as me. All right. Damn. I don't know what I've done, but I've done it. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you on the next one. Well, uh, and if you're new here, push the subscribe button. It really helps me out. So, see you on the next episode of Deponia.